Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be talking about Shinobu's combos and pressure. Um, however, I do suggest you check out my breakdown video, because we really talked about what makes Shinobu strong, and it really has to do with how all of her strengths really go well together. Like, her amazing movement combines well with the fact that she has low life, and her low damage is made up for the fact that she has really amazing pressure, and the fact that her pressure is really expensive is made up for the fact that she can has a lot of opportunities to build back a lot of meter really quickly. So she's a very interesting character and you need to know all about all of her strengths to use her efficiently. But in this video we're just going to be talking about her combos and resets. So, the most basic combo you can do with Shinobu is a combo like this, where you just do a bunch of attacks into a regular special move, into a bunch of attacks, into poison. Now if the opponent doesn't do a quick recover, like the AI is now, if a quick recover is this by the way, when the opponent, you know, bounces up and you have to, like, mash the, um, jump button to auto quick recover, and a lot of people don't do it online. But, um, if the opponent does not quick recover, this is actually a pretty good combo, because even though it does a little damage, it does for two bars, um, the hard knockdown off of the poison actually lasts long enough for her to build back all the meter she used in the combo. So it's basically free, even though it's low damage, because the opponent doesn't recover quickly. So that's just good to keep in mind. However, with Shinobu, if you want to get good damage, you're going to have to be using supports. And when you're using supports, you're probably going to be using some more advanced combos. And when you're using advanced combos, I recommend you hit confirm as quickly as you can with Shinobu, because every attack you do with her scales the combo like crazy. So you want to hit confirm and cancel as soon as possible into your poison, into your support. So a simple combo could look something like this. A few attacks, and I realize I'm hitting, and then I go into poison, into Nezuko. I dash in, do my aerial attack string into an aerial special, and I just take that hard knockdown. With some pretty good damage, I get to build back all of my meter, and honestly a decent amount of my sidekick gauge. And if I just take the knockdown and build back my beta, and then do like two sidestep backwards, by that time that I've done those, I will have built all of my sidekick gauge back, and once again, the combo is basically free, and I don't have to worry about not having a combo breaker. If you want to make the combo do a little bit more damage, and you can do a poison at the end of the combo. Oops. Oh, that did work. So after I do this aerial special, I can go in for poison, and then I get more damage. It's a bit over half of Sabuto's life there. And it costs me just a little bit more meter, but it does a good chunk more damage. And if your opponent is the type of opponent that doesn't do a quick recovery, you may as well go for this combo all the time. Because, as you said, I, as I said, you should end your combo with that to build back a bunch of meter. But if your opponent isn't recovering anyways, you can end your combo in the poison, and it'll be a hard knockdown either way. Whereas this is a, hard, a forced hard knockdown. So, as you can see, the opponent isn't auto-quick recovering now. So I would always go for this combo because it gives me more damage and I still get to build back a good chunk of meter. So before the opponent wakes up, I haven't built it all back but I've built nearly all of it and that's a really good chunk of damage for Shinobu who is classically a low damage character. Now if you're getting an aerial combo, she actually gets a lot of options off of this and she will actually hit this aerial attack a lot more than any other characters would, mainly due to her amazing aerial sidestep where she can just fly in from the skies and attack the opponent from above, and I actually hit this really consistently in matches compared to other characters where you don't really get to use your aerial attack that much. So, off of an aerial attack, you have either the option of doing a combo that really builds a lot of meter but doesn't do much damage, so if I have like zero bar and I end up getting this hit, I can still get a full combo from it because this is your, your pop-up, so I can do a combo like this where I just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Oops, if I did it one less time, I would have gotten the hard knockdown. And then with the hard knockdown, you get to build back all four of your bars, and it's a really, really good way of building meter, even though you don't do a lot of damage. If you if you do want to do a bit more damage, you can do... Here, let me just get rid of bit and beta so you can see how much meter we build. So if I do want to do a bit more damage, I can do something like this. Oops. I can do a combo with my um, tilt attack in it, which looks pretty cool, and that does a little bit more damage, and I still have the hard knockdown to build a bunch of meter, or it actually does a little bit more damage if I leave out the tilt attack, but the tilt attack does look cool, so if you're going for style points, I recommend you throw it in. Just doing this simpler combo will actually do a little bit more damage, but you'll build the same amount of meter. 
So very good options off of that. And obviously if you do want to do your classic combos where you bring out your support, you still have the option of doing that, of course. Where you just do, you know, a few attacks into the special move. And then because you're on the ground now, you can do your poison. And I can dash in and get a hard knockdown off of that. And I've gotten decent damage. I can build back some meter. And I could have gone for poison at the end of the combo as well if I wanted. If you get a combo off of your tilt attack, you can go for a combo like this, where you just do your aerial tilt attack into your grounded attack string into poison. Um, it's actually pretty cool that she can do a full attack string into poison, and that does pretty decent damage for Shinobu. Like, or for any tilt attack for that matter, getting this much damage is pretty great. And she has an awesome tilt attack because it's very safe, but I'm not talking about that here. So yeah, you can get good damage that way, or you can also use this as an opportunity to build back a lot of meter. Because as I said, building meter with Shinobu is really important. So you can actually use it as a dash in for free, and then do something like that, and use that hard knockdown. And then just from that one hit, from that one armor attack, you've built all of your bow back. If you were completely blank, you've built it all. So you can go for more crazy pressure that you would have been going for anyways, and then you can go for more crazy combos. Because you're building your bow back from your combos. <laughs> uh -huh. Or you can throw, um, you can throw in some meter if you want to go for something like this to get some more damage you do have the option of doing that but i would recommend since it's going to be small damage either way just using the opportunity to build back a bunch of meter if you get a combo off of your aerial tilt attack her aerial tilt attack actually starts a yellow combo so you can kind of just treat it like you did a regular combo and just go into your classic stuff You can go for stuff like that. Really decent damage for an aerial dive kick, where usually people get red combos and not much damage. Shinobu gets pretty good damage. Um, one of the most damaging combos she can get is if she hit confirms or just combos from her swift thrust. So if the, you dodge something of the opponents or they end up getting beat out by the special move and you do your basic combo from it, this actually ends up being a lot of damage. That's half of the opponent's life for a simple combo that goes into a hard knockdown and you can build back some meter. And, you know, if I did a, a run away a little bit, I would have built back my support cage, and that's a lot of damage for Shinobu. So make sure you're getting good combos off, to, off of your Swift Thrust, or else you're making... Or else you're just wasting some good damage, basically. <laughs> um, do, do, do. I think that's basically it for her simple combos. If you're wanting to combo um, into an ultimate, she can combo off of like literally anything. Anything apart from the first three hits will combo, so any special moves, any even her aerial situations where she does something like this will combo into her ultimate, so comboing into an ultimate is not a problem for Shinobu, just do whatever you like, click the ultimate button and it'll work. Now to talk about her pressure quickly. I put Sabato onto guard here. Um, obvious options she has is her... After her f the last hit of her attack string, there's enough space in between her and the opponent to do a dash in into a grab cancel. She doesn't have any other spaces to do that because she's always too close to the opponent. See so if I do it after the first few hits, she's too close and I can't cancel it into a grab. So if you do want to do grab mix-ups, this is your place to do it. It catches the opponent pretty consistently, and if the opponent does start to be able to react to that and, you know, mash you out or dash out of it, just um, fake them out and instead of going for a grab, make it look like you're going for a grab, but then actually just go for more attacks and then end up getting hit by a full combo. Then obviously another good option is using her regular special, which is advantageous on blocks, on block, and you can just go for more attacks. Unfortunately, it does lock you into doing the attack button, so even if I'm mashing the grab button or mashing an armored attack, it makes me do a full attack string. So I was mashing grab there, but it made me do a full attack string. Whereas the aerial version of this spe special move is far superior, because as you can see there, when I'm mashing grab, I'm able to go into grab. And because of all the visual noise of like the dust and stuff flicked up into the air, it's really hard to react to online. And even if the opponent does start seeing it coming, which will probably be only like after the third time they get hit by it, they can mash you out of it, but then you can just go for an armored attack. And then off of your armored attack, you can go for, you know, whatever combo you like to do after your armored attack. And uh, yeah, it just is probably her best mix up to her best pressure tool is this, because you can go for a grab. And if the opponent tries to mash you out of the grab, you can go for an armored attack. And it's a basically a win-win for you. And even if they block that, because she's got such an awesome armored attack, she's completely safe from the armored attack. So there's no risk to going for either of those options, really, except for the grab if they mash. 
And a really good way she can get the aerial version of that special move is either by using her dash in, that puts her into the air for this special move. And you can even do a dash in into buttons into the special move. Sometimes that whiffs and sometimes it doesn't, it's very inconsistent. Sometimes the last hit will hit, like it hit there, and then as we saw before, sometimes it misses. But honestly, having it miss can actually be even a bit more of a mind game, because the opponent's waiting for that last hit, it doesn't hit, and then you end up hitting them with a grab instead. And off of this t special move, she can also dash after the opponent, so if the opponent is trying to push away and jump away from... Because, you know, her pressure's really scary, a lot of people just, whenever you do the swift thrust, they just push you away and then jump back. But... Because this puts you in the air, she can use her amazing air dash to chase the opponent down and anti-air them with her regular attacks, and then you'll get a full combo. And even if they don't, you're invincible for part of your air dash, and you move behind them, so it's just a really good way of just faking the opponent out. And after I do this, I could just do an air dash and end up going in for a grab, and the opponent isn't expecting me to go for an air dash there. So even just the fact that I'm air dashing and then going in for more pressure is going to be really scary for them. And um, anyways, back on to Sixfold Thrust, the aerial version. A really good way of her getting into that without spending two bars. So she could spend two bars by going into her dash into this, or just by, you know, jump cancelling and doing something like that. But both of those, you know, spending two bars is a little expensive. So you can actually do your aerial or your up attack string, and that puts you into the air, and that makes her do an aerial six fold thrust. So you can get it for using only one bar, and then off of that situation, you can get amazing mix ups. Just the mix-ups we talked about before, either going in for a grab, an armored attack, or even going in for delayed attacks is a really good way of faking out the opponent's counter to the um to a grab. And then after all this pressure, your opponent's guard is probably going to break, and then you get to go in for your delicious combos we just talked about in the beginning of the video. Where she can get a really good chunk of damage if you know what you're doing. Okay, and I think that is basically it for her pressure. She's got good cancels into grabs, she's got good advantageous moves on block, she's got really good ways of getting in, um, and good movement, but we didn't really talk about that too much in this video. And as long as you're using overpowered supports, which isn't something I usually like doing, but Shinobu needs it. If she wants to get damage, you need to use a support like Nezuko, or um, maybe Hinokami Tanjiro, or Inosuke, someone that has a lot of hits and really big hits like this, because it makes it super, super easy to combo with a poison. But that is Shinobo, Sh Shinobu. Those are her combos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.